Shalom, shalom. This is the second installment in a series called Believer's Testimony. This testimony was an excerpt of a roundtable discussion on the Blog Talk radio program called Debate Talk for You. I was really touched by this caller who called in and said he was brought up in the church. He's the son of a pastor. Uh, he openly admitted that there was a period in his life when he dabbled in the New Age and paganism. So Yahuwah has brought this young man a long way. But he, do, he goes on to make clear the importance of pronouncing Yahuwah's name and how the other names we have grown accustomed to are actually associated with witchcraft. Well, without further delay, uh, listen to this testimony and it's my hope that this brief testimony is a barakah or a blessing to you and yours. The Bay Talk View, let's go to the first person. 443-928, July live on the Bay Talk View. Yes, uh, first of all, I want to uh, uh, reverence uh, the name of Yahuwah, uh, first and foremost, um, because it was a revelation to me that changed my life the first time I heard, it, you know, something that I had been looking for. And I'm the son of a preacher, been in the church for 28-plus uh, years. Um, but what I wanted to say, first of all, um, I appreciate everyone who participated in this panel and also the people who uh, set up this forum, this outlet. Um, number one, I wanted to say that when we approach something like this, we have to accept that, number one, we have to believe and accept um, that his name was revealed to the prophets. Uh, we have to accept that, and, and if we accept that, we should also accept that this stuff was not written for everyone. It was written for the elect. And number three, the elect of those who have the spirit. And the spirit is going to reveal the truth to you of this matter. So, and I can say from my experience dibbling and dabbling in other systems that nobody discounts, and I'm talking about systems that we can outright call pagan systems. They never tell you that pronunciation doesn't matter. You would never hear a Wiccan or uh, a warlock, or anybody in other even in Kabbalah, they're going to tell you pronunciation is everything. That oral Torah means a lot. It's a great deal when you're dealing with pronunciation because sound shapes matter. Sound deals with your consciousness. You start to manifest things on the outside. You know what I'm saying? Your thoughts, you know, we form words from our thoughts. You know, we learn vocabulary, and then we start to shape our environment based on our understanding of language. And, you know, language is very, very significant. And, um, you know, I'm just going to say what took me out of the Christian church, what finalized it for me uh, very recently. And I've been a musician in the church. That's basically what I've done my whole life. I have no income because I, I, the, when, it, when it came to me for real, what it was about, I had to walk away. I had to walk away with a newborn child. I'm out of it. I don't know where my next dollar is coming from, but when it really hit me that his name mattered and I can look around and see my, I live in Baltimore City, when I can look around and see my brothers with Jesus' name tattooed on them and that cross tattooed on them, which is a sigil, you know what I'm saying, and I'm seeing them, all of them are Christians, but they dying in the streets the way they are. These people are impoverished the way they are. You can't tell me that that name Jesus, them, them, that name Lord, that name God is not witchcraft. That's why our people are messed up, because they have the wrong name coming out of their mouths. And there's no freedom in that. There's no deliverance in that. And all we have to do is look at our people, not just in our urban cities in America, but all over the world, wherever they took Jesus, our people are jacked up. And this is prophesied in the word that this is what was going to happen. So, and I'm not saying that to cut into to the brothers that are speaking, because I listen to all of these brothers. I still grab what I can from them. Um, and it's changed my life. I love all of y'all. But I can just say from my experience of what my eyes have been allowed to see, even through hip-hop, how important word, play, and vocabulary is. Our people are messed up through language more than anything else.